2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E Review, the Android to Tesla's iPhone. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. A few months ago I switched to an Android phone after being a lifelong iPhone user, a move that rocked the foundation of my inner circle. Honestly, all I wanted was a smartphone that was better looking and fun to use, while offering more features. And while there are some things I do miss, RIP iMessage, the overall experience feels more satisfying. That's how I felt after a week in the new Ford Mustang Mach-E. If Tesla is the apple of EV makers, with its closed-loop charging infrastructure and minimalist design language, the Mustang Mach-E feels like the best Android alternative, and it's the one I'd buy. What the NACTOY winning Mach-E offers more of than any other EV in its class is personality. This is not an appliance, not even close. Ford smartly used the iconic pony car nameplate to inject some life into its first true mass-market EV which also blends superior driving dynamics, impossibly good looks, and a few honest-to-goodness muscle car characteristics. As with any good Android product, the Mach-E does have its quirks. Ford clearly still has some ironing out to do in regards to its massive user interface, and there are some interior bits that feel too much like the old Ford. But those are minor in the larger scope. The bottom line is the Ford Mustang Mach-E is a phenomenal EV. The Ford Mustang Mach-E does not look like a muscle car, but there are obvious comparisons to draw with the traditional Mustang Coupe, like the aggressively downturned headlights and the sloping hood line. Even the grille, which is just sheet metal surrounded by black plastic, looks muscle car-esque in an odd way. The backside of the Mach-E represents a stark contrast. Other than the triple bar taillight fixtures, you won't find much here to compare to the Mustang Coupe, since it's a crossover. The sloping roofline, Finished in metallic black on this first edition model, blends almost seamlessly into an embedded spoiler, affording the Mach-E its sporty shape. There is some unique detailing just below the trunk lid too, but the shiny black stuff lower down on the bumper isn't great. This particular Mach-E wears one of the best paint color options available today, Grabber Blue Metallic. This was a no-cost option on the first edition model tested here, which is already sold out, and we haven't seen it on any other trims yet except the range-topping GT Performance model, not due to arrive until mid-year. This Mach-E also gets exclusive 19-inch directional wheels finished in bright silver with black inserts that really hammer the performance theme home. Pop open the doors, using the needlessly complicated button and pull tab combo, and the inside of the Mach-E looks unlike any other Mustang, for the most part. Greeting you when you open the door is a massive 15.5-inch vertical touchscreen and an adjacent digital instrument cluster screen, and that's about it. The dash design is simple and clean, with nice materials like ActiveX, faux-stitched leather, smart speaker-style fabric, and a faux carbon silver texture that isn't anywhere near as offensive as standard hard plastic. The knurled gear shifter could feel more premium and the volume dial could be sturdier, plus there's a healthy amount of piano black plastic, which is a fingerprint magnet. Otherwise, the inside of the Mach-E is leaps and bounds better than what you get on regular Mustangs and feels properly premium.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.